What's happening everybody, the poets here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. In today's video, we're talking about thermal paste. One brand in particular I've always been impressed with, and that's Arctic. Arctic actually stepped up to the plate when I had a very hot running 10900K inside of the HP Omen 30L, which only had a 120 millimeter AIO, and Arctic said, hey, try this. I'm like, well, it's 120 millimeter AIO, like how much better can it be? It knocked the temps out the park. The HP Omen 30L was a nice PC, but the one flaw was that it only had a weak 120 millimeter AIO. I put this thing in, see the video on it actually on my YouTube channel here. And um, yeah, it dropped temps drastically, reduced a lot of the noise and eliminated all the thermal throttling. So not all products of the same size are made the same. This was really impressive. And so because of that, I started to use a lot more of Arctic products. Uh, tried different AIOs as well as a lot of their thermal paste. And this MX4 thermal paste was very consistent. It was exactly what I needed. I'm testing different PC equipment and all that stuff. And I just kept coming back to this. Yes, I've tried many other brands, trust me, a lot of other brands. And some are good, some are pretty bad. Um, and you're always looking for certain things like consistency is one. So no matter what type of tube I got of MX4, it was always the same, um, you know, whether it's a two gram or eight gram or whatever. And that is something that I appreciated because uh, not only was it consistent no matter when I purchased it, because I've had various consistencies of different brands, I will say that, um, but it's always been consistent in terms of how I apply it and the results I was always getting. So it was very reliable and good quality as well compared to a lot of other brands. Now, as of filming, this MX-6 is the brand new stuff and it just came out. So yeah, I, uh, thank you Arctic for sending this ahead of time and uh, allowing me to do this testing. But it's, uh, it's really exciting because not only is this an improved like viscosity compared to the MX-4, but they're also saying that this actually gives up to 20% better performance than the MX-4. Now, if I've already for the last couple of years been just going to MX-4 because I like it, I'm, I'm interested to see exactly how well this does. And you know, Arctic has had great customer service. They keep putting out just solid quality products. And then, you know, and some companies, you know, have some faults and stuff because many PC manufacturers do. And they're one of the ones that actually like go above and beyond to make sure that consumers actually know like, hey, we need to adjust this hardware part or whatever that is. So I appreciate that as well. So great communication. So this MX-6, let's uh, open up one of these. How about the, the four gram? If I can, get tape on here. Tape, my arch nemesis. Uh, there we go. Uh, uh, nope, don't got it. So apparently they know how to package things as well. But hey, I like this color. This is kind of nice. So yeah, this is the MX-6. Let's go ahead and open it up. Try some on. And yeah, this is a familiar uh, type of substance or viscosity compared to the MX-4. So let's go ahead and apply this to the 7950X that I have in here. And um, you know, check out how it performs. But first, I always like to see how it's applied. I do tend to always use a spatula. So that's my technique, especially for the AM5 platform. It's all spiky and stuff. And you wanna make sure it gets everywhere. Let's do it. So this is an RTX 3090. So easy to remove, very simple. And it looked big at the time. Now this thing is tiny for reference. <laughs> this is the MSI 4090 Gaming X Trio. So what I did here is use ZMT tubing, zero maintenance tubing, so that I can easily take this off whenever I needed to, to change the processor or, in this case, the thermal paste. And you can see here, that's a pretty damn good job right there. Not too bad at all, pretty good job. So this is the Arctic MX Cleaner. My first time using this. Get out. There we go. Ah, that's nice. 
All right, so we're gonna use it for this first. One swipe, a clean wipe, a clean wipe. Who said that? George Clinton, Funkadelic. All right. This has an interesting clean aroma to it. Very interesting aroma. Okay. Looks like one cloth is all you really need. That's, that's pretty cool. We're gonna use one more to clean off the 7950X. Nice clean one. All right. So first for the MX-6, we're just gonna apply about that much. There we go. I like to put a little paper towel down to prevent drips on the motherboard because it can happen. And then of course, you start to apply. This is a nice consistency here. Oh, this is nice. This is like a... Not Play-Doh, but it's just very direct. Like it's going exactly where I want it to go. This is nice. When you're applying thermal paste, are you a spreader? Do you use the line format? P-shape? Let me know. And now we can reapply our heat sink. Very nice. And now it's just about putting everything back in together. Very simple. We have a boot. I do like these spatulas a lot, so I always save them. These are nice. Yeah, these are nice. Aromatic, but nice. So we're at the tail end of running these benchmarks comparing the Arctic MX-4 to Arctic MX-6. And it is really exciting when a company comes out with a new product. MX-4 has been very reliable. People like it for a reason because it's good. It's easy to apply, easy to take off. It's got a nice viscosity to it. And its temperatures are great for pretty much every single processor from a Threadripper 3970X that I've used it on to an i3, right? So it has range. And you know, when it comes to overclocking, it's great for that as well. There's uh, definitely other thermal compounds that are better for like extreme overclocking or if you're doing some particular things, but this is a nice middle ground where you just can't go wrong with MX4. Now, MX6, in all of this <laughs> benchmarking I've been doing, and it is late, trust me, um, whether it's Blender Benchmark, I'm getting higher scores by a few points and lower temperatures by a couple of degrees, which is nice. So on average, it's getting me about two degrees better performance with MX6 versus MX4. And when it comes to Cinebench R23, I'm just running this again, but basically it's about two to two and a half degrees Celsius difference. MX6 giving me better performance and a slightly better score as well, which is interesting. So these 7950X processors, you know, this whole AM5 platform, they run really hot. They're targeted to run at 95 degrees Celsius. And we're not really used to that. You know, I remember when if your CPU hit 80 degrees, you're like, oh my God, I'm overheating. But now this is the norm. So with this test bed, Destro, that I built here, having this custom water cooling, a very thick radiator that's 360 millimeters long, um, it's, it's keeping the temperatures in check. But now having this additional performance, and Arctic is claiming it's up to 20% better performance, uh, that's kind of nice. You know, I would like to see like the scale and how they all did their math and stuff, but just changing thermal pace from MX4 to MX6, getting me about two degrees difference, uh, better performance, and slightly higher scores on all my testing, that's a win. And it's affordable as well. Plus this larger packet, comes with the cleaner, which I'll say it again, it's aromatic. I had, to, I had to throw the open ones out in a different room and close the bag, but that's how you know it works when you have a headache. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, thumbs up. 
MX6 is outperforming MX4 by a couple of degrees and give me better points on uh, the 7950X. So overall, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this video. And uh, thanks again for Arctic for uh, not only sending all this out, but sponsoring this video. Data doesn't lie. Yes, sponsored video, but math is math. So good job, Arctic. See you in the next video.